Good morning. Right, so here we got this 40S battery pack. Right, so here, uh, today I'm, I'm actually bypassing this uh, BMS. This is what I did yesterday. I cut the wire and I just did some soldering here. And I soldered this uh, wire. This is actually a new negative, okay? It's red, was the only one I had yesterday. But uh, yes, I'm doing that. Uh, so the wire is actually connected straight to the cells. There's no controllers, nothing here monitoring the voltage. So it's just me and my devices here. <laughs> okay, cool. So here we got uh, three different devices uh, measuring the voltage. Okay, so what's the difference here? So this is a very expensive fluke uh, clamp meter, but it also measures the voltage like a multimeter. Okay. Um, so this is a true RMS device. So this is a device you can trust. It's very accurate. It's industrial grade. Okay. And here we got this uh, entry level flock. So you see that the values are a bit different there. Well, this is not designed for extreme precision. Okay. So this is the entry level one. So it's, uh, the difference in price is like I could buy probably like a four or five of the small ones with the price I pay on this big one. Okay, so this is designed for measuring amperage. Okay, so oh yeah, it does the job. Okay, it's not going to be one hundred percent precise, but yes, it's pretty accurate in some ways. Okay, for the price you pay. Okay, um, right, and this is a cheap and nasty eBay voltmeter. We can't even call this voltmeter; it's just a display. You can see the voltage. In this case, it is quite precise. Okay, so yeah, right. So and then for this test. I'm actually, I have to do some changes here, modifications, uh, change the voltage here in my charger. So this is my six amps charger. I'm gonna be open here. So it's just like one screw in each corner, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna be located at trim port. So what trim port looks like. So this is the thing here. So you got a little screwdriver like that, a very thin one, and you're gonna locate the trim port, okay? This is what the trim port looks like. That's not the one you'd be touching. Okay, do not do anything to these ones. So if you're locating the one that's like 99% of the case, would be the one that's closest to this wire here that goes to connect to your battery, okay? So you're gonna be looking here where this wire goes. All right, so there's another trim pot here. So you're gonna be turning this thing here slowly, slowly, and checking the voltage you're getting there, okay? So I'm gonna be doing a quick demonstration here for you. Turn this thing on. Right. 59 something volts. So the reason why I'm setting this a bit higher is because as soon as you turn it off The volt the battery drops a little bit. Okay, so normally it drops between 0 0.4 0 0.5 volts. Okay, in some case some batteries uh, You could drop up to 0.7 volts. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be showing you uh, so yeah, Just go there and then you turn like this. Okay? And as you turn, you see the voltage increasing, dropping. This is too much. Okay? So I'm leaving actually to 59 point, you know. Yeah, just like that. Right. I don't want to go too high. Okay? So, and this is going to take another good, like a three, four, five minutes here at least. Okay? So I'm not going to be holding here, uh, but yeah, keep on watching and I'll be taking this battery pack with 58.8 volts downstairs and then I'll be uh, checking how many RPMs I'll be getting with my BBSO2 Bafeng mid-drive, okay? I'm expecting a much higher RPM. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Keep on watching! Woo!